Stem Regen has made a kind of unique place in my practice. Uh, the obvious place for something that activates stem cells is the standard musculoskeletal approach that most practitioners use. Knee replacements or boosting up or a damaged joint. And sure enough, that's where I started using it. I started using Stem Regen in a lot of post-surgical patients, those areas where we needed something to really jumpstart their healing process. Where I'm finding, however, is that any place the body needs help, from the joints to the brain to the bones to getting toxicities out, all of these areas are applications that I didn't think of originally, but I'm finding out that anywhere and everywhere is really an application for Stem Regen. So stem cells are a growing area of regenerative medicine. People are looking at them as the kind of the, the fountain of youth. The problem is that it's very self-limiting in terms of the people that I can actually have access to the technology. It's a massive dose of stem cells all up, up front, and you use it for any one of a number of regenerative processes. The problem is it's a lot of money and it's a single application. So I needed something to be able to tap into the technology and the power of stem cells, but something that wasn't gonna be cost prohibitive so I can actually use this in a wider variety of people particularly those patients that need a long-term effect, something where it's not just a single application, but I'm getting that regenerative effect of stem cells over a couple of weeks to a couple of months. So I'd been doing research. I actually wrote a paper last year specifically on stem cells and their applications in a wide variety of functional medicine applications ways. The problem is, is that because the industry has geared itself so much toward those injections, I was very skeptical when I was approached with the idea that there's a combination of herbals, of all things, that might actually be able to mobilize endogenous stem cells. Well, having done stem cells before, I was like, okay, let's put them in a side-by-side -side comparison. And I was really kind of shocked to see that, yes, the herbals actually do manage to activate endogenous stem cells, keep them circulating, and when done over a time period of a couple of weeks, I see similar results between the stem regen and injections that we'd get these patients normally at a fraction of the cost. So stem regen, I was expecting to see some big results in terms of regenerating shoulders and knees and things like that. I mean, so case study, I had early 60s police officer, had injured himself, had to have a total shoulder replacement surgery, put him on stem regen at two, three times a day. The surgeon six weeks after surgery said this was the fastest recovery he'd ever seen. Two weeks out, it looked like it had been healing for a couple of months. The surgeon's response is, well, I guess I did a great job. Well, probably not entirely the surgeon. We did have a fair amount to do with it. So I was expecting to see that. I wasn't expecting to see as fast a result as we did. Okay, is it age dependent? So tried it out on a 90-year-old patient of mine, had to have a total knee replacement. Sure enough, They'd never seen regeneration like this. Again, the surgeon, I guess I did a pretty good job. You know, keep your ego intact, that's fine. I know I'm helping this patient out. And more importantly, the patient knows it because she's up and walking around and the pain levels were low and we didn't have to use a lot of anti-inflammatories. In both cases, they were expecting, like in the cop's case, they were expecting painkillers for a total of about six weeks. He was off painkillers in two days. They were expecting six months before he went back to, back to work. He was back on the force in less than two months. And this 90 year old patient, she's not chasing down bad guys, but she is back up and walking around weeks ahead of schedule. These were all things I expected. What I didn't expect to see were some really phenomenal cases, like the girl who came in with the elevated levels of aluminum. When we first tested her, those levels are supposed to be like below 35. Her provocative challenge showed greater than 900, and we'd been chelating her and moving some stuff to get those aluminum levels out for these neurologic problems she'd been having for years. And we've been getting a steady improvement since. Inside of two months, I had the effects of close to two years of chelation to get aluminum levels. And they dropped at that point from the mid 200s down to almost 80. So we had this amazing result in terms, of, in terms of how fast we're getting that aluminum level out. And that was really kind of a shock because this is a mechanism for stem cells nobody had seen before. So who am I using re stem regen on now? Virtually anybody. Stem Regen has been an interesting addition to my business. I wasn't looking for something to expand into. I was already fairly comfortable with uh, how to approach people on the subject of stem cells and stem cell injections. What I wasn't expecting was a almost no risk expansion into this that dramatically expanded the portion of my patient population that I can use this technology in. So without looking at it, it's really been kind of a boost to my overall my overall approach to patients and my overall quality of care because all of a sudden I've got an ability to bring a technology to patients that they hadn't seen before. 
that as a business owner means that I've got a greater profit margin coming in because I'm helping a wider variety of people. So anything that with minimal risk to me increases my both profit margin and my, my, my gains to my patients is really a boost to my business overall. Here's one of the great advantages of stem regen. It's high quality supplementation. It's already tested to make sure there's no contaminants and there's no risk of tissue contamination. So this is an almost zero risk to the patient that's involved where I get the benefits of stem cells without the risk of where is that stem cell coming from? Because what we're using is the patient's endogenous stem cells and that autologous response between patient and their own cells gives you a far better response. We're not worried about a rejection or the safety of the injection. We've got the patient's own body healing the patient's own body and they're not tied to you know, the risk factor that comes with it coming from some other source. It really is something that if you're in, into, this, into this technology, opens a whole new variety of options for you at a very low risk to you economically and medically to your patients. Hi there, my name is Dr. Victor Cartrude. I'm from Austin, Texas.